Hello guys, welcome to Late Night Frots. I'm your host for this evening, Chris Brock, and I just want to tell you guys, happy Friday 13th, guys. Hopefully you have a you had a great day. It's 7 o'clock where I'm at. I think 7, 16, so, you know, it's pretty much the day is already over. But, um, <clears throat> I just got done watching Black Christmas, and uh, today I'm going to be battling Black Christmas, the original 1974, versus the original My Bloody Valentine 1981. So, should be a really interesting battle. Um, I'll go through a little quick plot summary, not really going into major details. But uh, Black Christmas, well, I'll, I'll go with uh, my bloody Valentine first. Um, basically, 20 years ago, um, mysterious murders happened on Valentine's Day. Um, because five miners got trapped. Because two retarded miners, I guess you'd call them. Um, didn't check, I think they said like gas levels or something down, uh, you know, in the mines. Um, because they just wanted to go to the Valentine's Day party. And they left uh, five miners down there, and you know, uh, I think something happened. Like you know, it caved in, and um, I think it was Harry. Harry Warden was his name. He survived for I think they said like they said uh, a couple weeks. And uh, on the flashback, you see him like eating somebody's arm, and uh, yeah, basically everybody knows. You know, my bloody Valentine. That was the backstory or the origins of Harry Warden, I guess you could say. And, uh, you know, the sheriff is getting um, warnings not to have the, you know, the Valentine's Day party. Uh, he's getting little heart-shaped uh, things. When he kills somebody, he puts their heart in it, and he has a note. And uh, you guys know what happens. Uh, a group of teenagers, which they look like in their 20s, um, they're minors, of course. Um, they have the party anyway, and Harry Warden comes. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for ones who've seen it, you know, when I'm, you know, Harry Warden. <laughs> but, you know, that's basically the quick plot summary for that. Black Christmas is, um, it's, uh, basically, it's, you know, December. I, I don't know if, it, it, I don't think it said it was Christmas, but I'm pretty sure it is because the title. Um, it's just about a sorority group of girls. They're in a house, and they get these mysterious phone calls, and, uh, you know, here, I'll, the killer, when he calls me, snorts like a pig, and, you know, he says, I want to lick your, you know, your piggy, <laughs> and it's, if you watch it, you know what I'm talking about, and he's, he laughs, and she goes, you effing creep, and he goes, in a serious voice, because he's like, uh, I want to lick your, you know, and he's laughing, and then he goes, I'm going to kill you, and that was creepy, but, it's just, you know, great film, both of them. Uh, you really have to watch them to know what I'm talking about. But let's get down to battling them, guys. So round one will be kills. Um, I'm just going to say, guys, both of these uh, movies had great kills. Um, on one hand, you have my bloody Valentine. Uh, you know, Harry Warden running around with a pickaxe. Um, just getting people. I think he gets them, like, right in the chest or right in the heart. But I'm pretty sure he always rips the heart out. Because, you know, that's his signature thing. But a lot of his kills was with the pickaxe, uh, you know, as it should be. Because that's his signature weapon. Uh, he got this one girl right in the gut. And, oh man, that would be awful. She was just running and... Chua. And he did a lot of them like that. And uh, one kill, uh, this guy was going to prank the miners because he tried warning them not to go. He set up a little, you know, a thing that looked like Harry Warden. He had the pickaxe and everything. And he set it up with a rope. And every time he'd open the door, he'd do that. And um, he did it. And he kept on doing it. He kept on doing it. And got arrogant. And he opened the door. And it was really Harry Warden. And Butchaw got him, I think, right through the eye. Or something like that with the pickaxe. I thought that was awesome. You have uh, the hot dog water kill, which I thought was actually pretty awesome. You know, he uh, takes his head, puts it right in hot dog water, and you can, like, you know, see the tissue. Uh, you know, just, you know, uh, both good kills. Um, I mean, um, three good kills right there. And Black Christmas, though, um, you have, um, uh, crap, I don't want to say the killer's name. Uh, Billy, I guess that's the killer's name. Um, he have him hiding in the closet behind... Uh, it's like a suit, but it's a plastic bag, and uh, he's hot behind that for the first kill. And you know he pops out, and you know takes the plastic and you know suffocates her. 
and you see her a lot. You see that person, you know, with the plastic over, and she's like, you see her a lot. You see her dead body a lot through the movie. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you had the old woman, I forgot her name, but she always, uh, her cat was named uh, Claude. She always said that a million times, and then she goes, gee, dick, Claude, I'm going to have you neutered. I thought that was funny. Uh, she died by a hook, went through like her, right through here, I think, through her neck and up through her mouth, something like that. But my favorite kill would have to be, the, I think it's the glass unicorn, I think that's what it was. It was a glass unicorn. He used the kill, um, I, I forgot her name, I apologize guys, but it was a great kill. So kills, uh, so close, but I'm going to have to give it to Black Christmas, guys. Round two would be storyline. Which storyline do I like better? Um, I don't know. I think they have both good storylines. All right, guys. Um, for round two would be storyline, and uh, well, I like both these storylines, but this round's gonna be quick. Black Christmas. Um, I don't know. I just think it's something creepy about you know a killer on Christmas because you really don't see that a whole lot. And uh, have you looked at the date? It's December thirteenth. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> so, you know, round two goes to Black Christmas. I like that storyline a little bit better, but my boy Valentine had a great storyline. Round three, acting. Um, it's going to be a quick round two. Um, a bunch of unknown uh, actors versus John Saxton alone. John Saxton, guys. Um, I love John Saxton, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. He did other films as well, but those are, you know, Black Christmas and Nightmare on Elm Street. Are the ones I remember him from. Or I just now watched Black Christmas. For the first time. You know what I mean. I will remember him in this one. Because he did a great job. Um, the other people did good as well. But you know. You can totally see that uh, John Saxton is miles ahead of these actors. And um. But aside from John Saxton. This group of actors are a little bit better from. Or a little bit better than the ones in My Bloody Valentine. So round three goes to Black Christmas. Round four, which do I think had a better killer? I love both killers. Um, Harry Warden, you know, he has like the mining mask. He has the helmet with the lot. He has, you know, the pickaxe. And, uh, you know, he, he have his uniform. I think it's dark blue. I think maybe in the remake it's black. I don't know. Um, but he looked creepy. I like the, you know, the appearance of Harry Warden. And, uh, yeah, I just really like that uh, killer. I think he's underrated. Um... But Billy, though, I think that's his name, Billy. I'm not for sure. You know, comment if I'm wrong or not. But um, you really don't see a whole lot of him. Um, you think he's another character when you do see him because he's in the shadow and, you know. But, wow, was he not funny and sadistic? Like, when he'd call, he'd, like, do all sorts of voices and, like, you know, pretty piggy, I want to lick your, you know. And, you know, he's using the... <laughs> Just some foul language, but it was funny, but also disturbing. Um, I don't know, like, <laughs> and he would laugh, and I don't know, that killer is really sadistic. It's freaky. I really liked uh, the killer from Black Christmas. Um, he'd go from one minute to, you know, laughing and, you know, just saying all sorts of dirty and vile things, and then he goes, I'm going to kill you, and hangs up and he's like, mm, you know, the answer tone. Or the dial tone, I mean. Um, so round four, I have to go with Billy from Black Christmas. I just really like that killer. He is crazy and just, I don't know. Um, round five, which do I think had a, or which do I think is a better overall film? Uh, Black Christmas, because, I don't know. There's something about it. It had suspense, the first, or the personal point of view shots from the killer. Um, the kills you know the pace in both films you don't get bored I'll tell you that in both films I never got bored but you know Black Christmas man I just fell in love with this film I love it you know I'm gonna add uh, my bloody Valentine and you know Black Christmas to my collection they're two definitely good films that you should have in your collection if you're a horror fan um so you know Black Christmas won this one pretty easy but my bloody Valentine is a great film um yeah, guys, uh, if you agree, disagree, you know, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, we at Late Night Frights love to hear your guys' opinions. And, uh, you know, like, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Peace.